it the Alleluia, the next one? Because this might be it. That was a hard one for me anyway, but it's a better closer. <laughs> okay. There's one teeny repeat. There's, oh, 20, 25 yep. to... Yeah. Very Okay. So one, two, one, two.
<laughs> Thank you. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Olivia is our first grandchild, and I have had the privilege of being her grandpa for the past 20 years. Cheryl and I remember the day she was born very well. We were at our church camp meeting in Portland, Oregon, and Jeff sent us photos through an email. My, how things have changed. Today this service is being broadcast worldwide. Just before Olivia's sixth birthday, her mom and dad sent her on an airplane with their pastor and wife to spend three weeks with us in Portland. For the next few years, Olivia spent her birthday at our house, and we made some wonderful memories 
helping her celebrate. We have enjoyed watching Olivia grow up and excel in many areas. And since she started dating Chandler, we have enjoyed getting to know him as well. They make a fine couple together, and we know as they follow God in their lives, they will have a beautiful marriage together. Chandler, don't forget to open the car door and tell her you love her every day. Chandler and Olivia's story. The story began back in high school in Van Buren. Over the years, they became good friends. They sat at the same lunch table and next to each other in the bandstands at football games. One day, Olivia needed extra help in her math class, and Chandler offered to tutor her after school at the library. Any other thoughts at that time? <laughs> <laughs> they hit it off and started spending more time together. Eventually, Chandler asked Olivia out on a date. They went to see the Grinch movie for their first date. <laughs> they started going to the parks and coffee shops as they continued to get to know each other better. In March of 2019, they made it official. They were a couple. Chandler started attending the Apostolic Faith Church around this time, and both him and Olivia have committed their lives to God. Their desire is to put God first in their marriage and in every decision they make. Both Chandler and Olivia are active in their church responsibilities, including participating in the music, audiovisual duties, and whatever they're asked to do. Here's some fun facts. Their favorite date night is going to a Mexican restaurant in Fayetteville, followed by a Mario Kart game. <laughs> Olivia inherited a dog named Noble, and while Noble loves her, he has become Chandler's best friend. <laughs> is he here today? No. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> The night Chandler proposed, he went to a, they went to a pumpkin patch and then to a romantic picnic. Ch Chandler pretended that he was taking pictures with a timer, but he was actually recording a video of him proposing. We are gathered here to join this couple in holy matrimony. Since we know that the Almighty God is the author of the institution of marriage, that by his word, his holy, this holy relationship between man and wife was brought into existence. We do not hesitate to proceed according to the instructions given us in his holy Bible and in accordance with the laws of our civil state. Obedience to the law of God always brings blessing. Even though we may be in temporal adversity and sorrow, disobedience brings the displeasure of God even in times of seeming prosperity and happiness. Therefore, our con conduct before each other, either as husbands, wives, or unmarried individuals, must be regulated by God's law if we are to enjoy the supreme blessing of God upon our lives while we live here on earth. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also sanctioned the institution of marriage by attending and taking part in the marriage at Cana of Galilee. He further gave his approval to marriage, reminding us of some of the obligations and privileges when he said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. The Holy Spirit has also blessed marriage and has used its bond of love as an illustration of the most closer tie that binds the Church of Christ to his bridegroom and master Jesus Christ. Speaking through the Apostle Paul and terming it one of the greatest mysteries of our life on earth, the Holy Spirit said, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, and it is fit in the Lord. And husbands, love your wives, 
even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. For no man ever yet hateth his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Chandler, do you promise to keep the vows you are about to make? I do. Please repeat after me. I, Chandler Riggs Dye. I, Chandler Riggs Dye. Take you, Olivia Renee Downey. Take you, Olivia Renee Downey. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. And solemnly promise God helping me. And solemnly promise God helping me. That I will be a true and devoted husband to you. That I will be a true and devoted husband to you. That I will love, honor, cherish, and protect you. That I will love, honor, cherish, and protect you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. In adversity and prosperity. In adversity and prosperity. And that I will keep myself to you and to you alone. And that I will keep myself to you and you alone. Until God by death shall separate us. Until God by death shall separate us. Olivia, do you promise to keep the vows you are about to make? I do. Please repeat after me. I, Olivia Renee Downey. I, Olivia Renee Downey. Take you, Chandler Riggs Die. Take you, Chandler Riggs Die. <laughs> to be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. And solemnly promise and God so helping me. <laughs> and solemnly promise God helping me. That I will be a true and devoted wife to you. That I will be a true and devoted wife to you. That I will love, honor, cherish, and protect you. That I will love, honor, cherish, and protect you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. In adversity and in prosperity. In adversity and in prosperity. And that I will keep myself to you and to you alone. And I will keep myself to you and to you alone. Until God by death shall separate us. Until God by death shall separate us. And so much then as Chandler Riggs Dye and Olivia Renee Downey have both signified their desire mm -hmm. to be joined together in the holy bond of matrimony, have borne witness of this fact before God and this company, and have pledged their fidelity and love each to the other, I, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the laws of the state of Arkansas, now pronounce them husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. In the dark, you decide to hold my hand and 
have no fear, because I, I will be here. I will be here when you feel like being quiet, when you need to speak your mind. I will listen, and I will be here when life will be so crying. Your ringing, using, and trying will be together, because I, I will be here. Tomorrow morning, if you wake up and the future is unclear, I, I will be here. As sure as seasons are made for change, our lifetimes are made for years. So I, I will be here. I will be here and you can cry on my shoulder when the mirror tells us we're older. I will hold you and I will be here to watch you grow in beauty and tell you all the things you are to me. I will be here. I will be true to the promise I have made to you and the one who gave you to me. And just as sure as seasons are made for change, our lifetimes are made for years. So I, I will be here. We'll be together. I will be here. Lord Jesus, that you will be in their home. You will continue to bless them. You will rain your blessing upon the windows of heaven, your storehouse, and pour down on their head, Lord Jesus, that they will continue to be friends forever. And at the end, Lord Jesus, when we shall gather in the Azura above, uh, in the marriage supper of the land, we pray that uh, we, nobody here will be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, when we depart from here, we pray that you give us a safe journey back to our different places, Lord Jesus. Glory and honor be unto your holy name, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tanner, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just that. Yeah, no, look. May I present Mr. and Mrs. Chandler Dye? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Olivia and Chandler would like all of you to go out so they can get photos of their going away at this time. And then there will be other photos. And uh, I believe there's some light refreshments or soda drink or something after that also. So you're dismissed.